In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the blue screen error that says critical process died. So there's actually a couple of different ways we can fix this and the solution for you depends on whether you can access your computer. So if you can access your computer, you'll just need to open up your start menu. Go and search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, select Windows Update. Scroll down to Advanced Options. Then scroll down to where it says Recovery and click on this. And next to Advanced Startup, we're just going to press Restart Now. And then go and press the Restart Now button. Now, once your computer's restarted, that should take you over to the recovery screen that should look something similar to this. Now, if you're unable to log into your computer, then we can still get to this recovery screen. All you'll simply need to do is go and turn off your computer by holding down the power button so just keep holding the power button down until it's completely shut down you'll then need to go in turn the laptop back on and as soon as you see the windows logo appear you're going to hold the power button again until it turns off and you're basically going to do this three or four times and on the third time it should go and launch up in recovery mode now, once you're on this recovery page, we're just going to select Troubleshoot from the list of options. You can then select Advanced Options. And the first thing we're going to try is by selecting the Startup Repair. Now, this will try and automatically detect any issues with your computer. And sometimes just doing this alone can solve the issue. Now, if that doesn't work, then what you'll need to do is come back over to this recovery screen. And this time, we're going to click on Command Prompt. So there's a few different things we need to go and type into this window. Now, the first thing we need to type in is the word boot followed by REC and then space forward slash fix MBR. So make sure you type that in exactly as you see it on the screen and then go and press enter on your keyboard. Now we're going to type in boot REC space forward slash fix boot and then press enter again. And the last one we need to type in is boot SECT space forward slash nt60 space sys and then we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot then we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild and then we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Now this is going to scan your computer for any corrupted files. So this will take a few minutes. Just wait for this to get to 100%. And once that's finished scanning, we're going to type in the command CHK DSK space C colon and then press enter. You'll then need to wait for this scan also to get to 100%. Once this scan is finished, we can go in and restart our computer. So you can just close out of the command prompt over here, and then we're going to select continue from the list of options, and that will go in and restart your computer, and it should have now fixed the blue screen error. 